Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um... I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Huh? This is the address of a famous lawyer. Oh no. She's gonna be like, can you get him for me? Because I, I don't want you defending me. My sister gave me this a long time ago. Maybe it'll be the rival guy that's on all the covers of his things. Ooh, the. He looks like a. He wears purple? Yeah. She said that if I was ever in trouble, I should call him and not you. Yeah. And while I'm in trouble, do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! It'd be like, any of the other answers, like, unacceptable. <laughs> I know, it's kind of rude to say no. Yeah. No, I own you now. <laughs> I have no one else to turn to, because I won't turn to you. And the police don't give you your one phone call, apparently, to call a lawyer. Because that's how the state works. You just don't get to have a lawyer. You just, that's like... You're like, I would like my lawyer. I'm like, too bad. Got you. We already got your cell phone. We win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do about it now? <laughs> Say, what about your parents? Uh oh. They were also murdered by statues. <laughs> I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. Oh my gosh, it's wow. tomorrow? Wow. The universe where people just don't got shit to do. <laughs> like, they're just like, oh, cool, trial, we're excited. Yeah, speed, <laughs> speed that shit. Wow, up. it's like the day after, right? Like, yeah, just fast track it. Yes, yeah, so he was, he's even surprised. It's the day after the day after. Yeah, but still. Because it's currently the day after. Isn't it like weeks usually? Oh, yeah, no, it's a huge but thing. Trials, it takes so fucking long. That's like one of our problems probably with our legal you're, system. Probably because you're supposed to gather evidence in a case and but, so on. Well, also, we're so backed up in our legal system that, like, your trial, that's why, that's why people who, yeah, like, that's, there's also that. are definitely. That's like a involved in murders have to wait months to even get yeah. the trial. That's part of the ongoing. Even it's very obvious. Yeah, there's like there's, a, there's Riker Island. It's supposed to be this nightmare location where people could just be spend years in like one of the most dangerous jails, just waiting to even be confirmed or whatever. Where is that at? Uh, that should be New York. Because mm. uh, one of the one of the one of my favorite it is really good. Is it's called The Night of. Is it was an HBO series where. Uh, was it Riz Ahmed? What, no, what was his fuck? No, that's not his name, I don't think. Whatever. But, uh, it was this guy who, uh, he, he has, like, his manic pixie dream girl evening with, like, this crazy new lady, and they're hitting it off, and then she's dead. And he's immediately put in jail for it. And the whole thing is, uh... That happens often. <laughs> yeah. And the entire thing is him going through the process of just going... Just, just getting to trial and just how utterly brutal it is to even go through the trial process while being in jail and like the things that jail does to you even before you're even convicted of being the, the person that does the, the thing and how much that can fuck up your life like permanently even if you're innocent it was a really good series that sounds like a good series and it's got uh, his name Brian DeToro or something did they ever say what happened to the Manic Pixie Dream Girl? What? What happened to the Manic Pixie Dream Girl? Did I tell you? Do you know? Like, like what happened to her? Like, why did she, she die? Is she OD? Uh, no, no, it's like a big bloody murder. It's real oh, bad. Never mind. Okay, it's never a mind. big, it's a bad murder. I, I just know there's like that archetype where it's like, oh, the hooker's dead. Like, oh, I killed the hooker on accident. Like, the ODing hooker is like a classic trope oh. that happens in like movies in which they have to dispose of the hooker's body. She's still the adrenaline shot and she's fine. <laughs> she's she's not, she just bounces back. She, she wasn't a hooker. She just has to be in with Thurman. She was. I don't remember the plot of. She of, was Marcellus's Wall Marcellus Wallace's girlfriend, which is I, why she could not die. I actually that, legit can't tell you what the script is. Oh my god. That, 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 I, I've, I've seen Pulp Fiction once. It's one of my favorite movies really. ever. I've watched Reservoir Dogs like 30 times the reason, I've seen Pulp Fiction the once. <laughs> the reason it's important and I've watched Kill Bill like both of them 10 is times. Because she's Marcellus Wallace's girlfriend and he once threw a man out the window for just touching her feet. Because uh, you know Quentin Tarantino and his feet thing. Yeah. But Marcellus Wallace is like the one badass character that gets revealed at the end who he is but like he, the, he's like a looming force the whole movie so she cannot mm. die. Because if she dies, she then cannot die. Uh, they're all they're in trouble. <laughs> what tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. Yeah, you should That's know good, that. That's good, right? Phoenix. Yeah, but like everyone knows those those attorneys don't give two fucks about you. Well, it could just be us. Well, I, I know, but like, <laughs> see, that's what. 
When will that happen? They give me until four this afternoon. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Because everyone just has a fucking lawyer ready on speed dial to call within 24 hours. That's a normal thing that humans do. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Also, this just kind of didn't check marks. So maybe there's more? Yeah. Can you tell me about the day of the murder? You're not my attorney. Why should I tell you? <laughs> Sorry, I know this must be hard. No, it's okay. Why is she smiling? <laughs> At all today. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. I'm over it. I'm so over my yeah. sister's death. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as serial murderer by now, <laughs> except it was two different items, Phoenix. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. What if this entire game is a series of murders of the, by the same clock? Oh my gosh, that like would be... The entire game is just the same Somebody throw clock. that clock into the... <laughs> like... Into, into Mordor and at just some feed point, it. It's like fucking Annabelle at some point. Like, you shouldn't you shouldn't let it exist it, anymore. It's a cursed object. Yeah. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Apparently blood is really pungent. I'm not, I was not aware of yeah. this. Th then I found her. My sister. I feel like if there was that much blood smell, then she would have already been cold. Well, I mean, I think we're not gonna- I don't think it's... Like, there, I mean, I would think that- a, I would think that You got a serious too. case of insight on the outside. <laughs> yes. Well, they could, they could smell as soon as they walk into the office, and she was like across the office. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just she saying. just had blood perfume. <laughs> like she keeps blood around. Next time I cut myself, they unplugged her blood like, blood fridge. I get like a cardboard cut or something. I'm just gonna see if I can smell a smell. I just <laughs> I just wasn't aware blood smelled like anything. It's supposed to be coppery, but I don't know if that's smell or taste. I smelled that's like what they always describe it as. I've been in like uh, I've known people who've had surgery. Now I need to go lick copper <laughs> to figure it out because <laughs> that's a, also totally a flavor. Well, people know. <laughs> I think I think copper has a coppery taste. There must be something, you know, like taste and smell is really related. So maybe you can yeah. kind of figure it out when you smell it. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to experiment with that and get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> to you all. Okay. I'll do some experiments. We'll figure it out. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Do I have anything to present to her? So I like how it could be either present or present. Like give yeah. her give her a present. Would you like some glass? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna give her the thinker so she can think about how her sister's dead? I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Snarf. <laughs> hmm. Better not ask her about this now. Never mind. You show her your badge, badge and say, I'm a lawyer. I, you, did you know I'm a lawyer, too? <laughs> she doesn't want you. I'm inspiring confidence right now, right? I can go back to my office, or I go to Grossberg. What's mm. Grossberg? Oh, you have to go back to him, because you have to go ask him to be her lawyer. Yeah. The the competing lawyer. <laughs> what is this cowboy picture? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of aesthetic is this? What? Oh, is, this this is, a, is this a bear with a salmon on a statue? This is definitely Americana. Yeah, no, this is Amer this is very American. It's very frontiers. September looking. sixth, Grossberg Law Offices. Unknown time apparently. Look at look at that globe. That's just a green ball. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was on a DS screen. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting the art to be worse, especially since one of the screenshots on the Steam page is terrible. <laughs> like there's a, there's one picture. Uh, I'll, I'll probably call it out when I re see it when if I recognize it. But like, there's one background where I'm just like, this art. The art I gave me the impression that the art in this game was bad, except I knew the character art was supposed to be all right because I've seen that before. Well, I so think, I was like, how bad could it be? I think it just has to be passable. Like, because yeah. it's not the point of the game. You're not like trying to do platforming or something. It's yeah, just like to just, present a story and be nice just, to look at. After nine nine nine, it's rough just because nine 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 was drawn by like all the all the character art was done by the artist that did the, all the Street Fighter characters. Ooh. So it was like super well done art, even if I disagreed with some costume choices. I was which, like, which look at this Street detail. Fighter? All of them? She does. She does the two D art for for all. Okay, of them. okay. I was gonna say because like, yeah. like in so the past, the, they didn't you see have two D poster art. art. But there's still different ones. No, I, I, like not the sprites. Yeah, but, but yeah. like the drawings that are like that they've been for a while now. I think 
Uh, well, maybe no, because now they have the 3D. So if you if you pick a character in Street Fighter now, it just but has she's a, like she's like a Capcom a 3D. artist a lot. Either way, whatever. I like Chun Li. So it's so like from from seeing some of that art. It was the a step, art is it good. was definitely a step down to see some of the screenshots I saw on the Steam page. But uh, this has been better than that so far. But it, yeah, it, you definitely get a sense from it that it's like it's a little messy and a little quick looking because it because you get the feel like oh this was all made to fit on a tiny ds screen so the deta- the minor details didn't matter that much so like everything's a little blobby and a little awkward looking in a way that you wouldn't make probably if it was made for a pc and like a full screen but now it's being repurposed against their will <laughs> <laughs> according to the receptionist the big the big boss is out Calls him the big boss. She couldn't say when he'd be back, and apparently we were still in no cell phone land. Like a bunch of weirdos. Oh wait, no, we have cell phones, because her sister had a cell phone. So this guy just sucks. Oh yeah. (laughs) It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer with no cell phone, like an asshole. Not to mention running an office like this with no cell phone. I guess I'll just have to come back later. (laughs) I will now inspect his office like a weirdo, because I just came in here anyway without him. The painting's been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint's so thick it practically give, give me, me a stuffed nose. What? Is that like a Van Gogh? Yeah, well, a lot of oil paintings, yeah, it's like, like... super thick. It's like scraped on. Yeah. But like, I don't know why that would give you a stuffed nose. I don't know. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. I'm allergic to art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to cowboys. Yeah. A solid mahogany desk. Ooh, I like how he knows what kind of wood it is. <laughs> that was a joke in, in uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. He just, the guy just couldn't stop telling everyone that his desk was mahogany. I think it was Satan. I'm trying to remember. It was Satan? <laughs> I think it was Satan. Satan would have a mahogany desk. Yeah. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Ooh, it's such a nice desk, too. I just, I just saw, like, the bottom, like, like, the, yeah. side, like the sides of it. Once oh, the gosh. the text was gone, yeah. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Ma- expensive, expensive looking, looking mahogany books. books. There's a I mahogany could have, bookshelf. I could have bought the normal books, but I went for the expensive ones. I got the leather bound ones that Barnes and Noble releases after mm-hmm. a book has been established as a classic. I don't like how the how the shelves don't match up around the corner. <laughs> like they're different heights. Irritated by it, this. Yes, I don't like that. Don't make your room like that. I don't like it how. Looks bad. Why is the wood a different color if it's mahogany? Did they stain it? I guess. I thought you're not supposed to stain the nice wood. I don't know. There's three different colors of wood, but I bet they're all mahogany somehow. I was gonna say yeah, the the and fucking the picture frame floor, doesn't count either. The walls and floor are also mahogany. <laughs> you're supposed to pick the same kind of wood for all of your fixtures in your office. What are you the doing? Light, the light bulb was also mahogany. <laughs> Hmm, funny. That plant, it's mahogany. It's a, yeah, it's a tree it's a that I'm going to cut down later to make another desk. <laughs> they don't look like they've ever been read. Of course they haven't been. Because he's a fraud. With, oh, and he's an alcoholic. I think it's... If, if you, nope, any sign, of, any sign of any alcohol means you're instantly an alcoholic. I don't think that's... That's it, how detective work is works. Is that a flask? I don't think it's a Just flask. Just like how she wrote that name down, which meant that she was the murderer. Duh. Duh. If there's any flask, that means you're an alcoholic. Oh, well, don't fucking look in my room, then. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> a table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. <laughs> it's not mahogany. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. That's a lighter? Even if I can tell someone... Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. That's a lighter? Wow, that's a... Oh, you, oh, you know, I have seen lighters like that that are really big. Yeah. That's I I guess it's for just like the it's, flask. It's meant to be like it's not for it's your supposed pocket. To contour around like your body. Yeah, but but I think those ones are so big that you don't usually put them in your pocket. Do you? Oh, that's oh, the whole wait, reason wait, they wait, were wait. shaped like that was to like go in your pocket because they like form fit your leg. I don't know. That's huge though. Isn't that why fl- I mean flasks are big? Is our perspective bad? Isn't that why flask? Well, probably it's for like I said. Well, flasks arts, are big because you need a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, don't you fit them in your pocket or something? But they're like curved yeah, so that they fit like, around your, your butt leg cheek. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I have one that's made of fabric, so it doesn't set off metal detectors when I go to events. <laughs> An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. <laughs> the mahogany plant. <laughs> is this, what is this place? I, you know, I think I'm supposed to hate this guy already, but I think I kind of love him. <laughs> I think he's kind of great. With his mahogany and his cowboy that loves his dog. They're trying to... Uh, they're Random try- bear statue. <laughs> they're trying to present an image to just, us. He's just biting an orange peel. We're, we're, supposed, <laughs> to orange peel. we're supposed to dislike this person. 
He's biting a giant orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cantaloupe. It's a cantaloupe. <laughs> that, gl that green globe represents a cantaloupe. Yeah. Welcome back. The office is filled with police officers. Oh, I thought it was a police office. I was gonna say, no, no fucking kidding. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. Oh, it's this guy. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, from earlier. What? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't he th he you? He thinks that you're butts? No, 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 Phoenix Wright. How could anyone make mistake me for Larry? I kind of agree with that sentiment. Why did you meet Larry? <laughs> in grade school. What is, no, I mean, what is, oh, oh, this no, guy. What, what does Larry have to do with this guy in the first place? Ah, uh, I, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Well, he probably Sorry was, about that. He's a police officer, so he probably dealt with Larry, oh, yeah, too. Maybe he arrested him, too. That butts guy. He was a killer. And you're no killer, right? Hey, dude, that guy got proven innocent, yeah. He, he was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Suede shoes and gum tree. <laughs> um, gum shoe, wasn't it? Dick gum shoe? Right, at your service. How could you forget a name like that? Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Not your first name. <laughs> Never use my first name. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. <laughs> Be right there. Um, <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Ew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. I will now not correct him and basically do an illegal. <laughs> that is kind of an illegal. Yeah. I think to exam- Look at that plant. This is a different view, isn't it? Yeah. Well, because I think she was down there. Oh, you're they, right. They fixed everything. They fixed the plant. Yeah. <laughs> well, that the, the, wasn't the plant that was there before. Isn't it? It was oh. like a pothos before. In Mia's water, it had no dirt, remember? But it's Mia's favorite pot of plant. <laughs> well, I don't think it was fucking there before, I'm just saying. Mia's favorite pot of plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. His name was Stephanie. <laughs> Cordyline Stricta, pal. Who was that? Also, how did he hear me? Some police officer like yelled. How did he hear my brain? <laughs> Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia. Oh, <laughs> Look at that! What's that one binder right there? It looks Oops, like sorry. a different color. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie they made that made Mia cry when she saw it. It looks like no movie poster I've ever seen. I'll have to check it seen. out one of these days so I can cry about her. I wish... There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all these. I wonder what, what movie poster that's supposed to be, if anything. Probably not one that I would recognize because this is not an American game. Yeah, but also, like, you, you, yeah, you can't make anything out at all. I, I wonder if that, like, if that's an apparent movie poster to someone in Japan. <laughs> the sky is blue and so high! <laughs> that's so sad! There's that hotel right across the way. Where's that cute girl? Yeah, what is that character? I guess she'll be the witness later. I feel bad ab I'm gonna say this right now. I feel like- she, I feel bad. I feel like she's something bad. She, like she's, she's the murderer. She's too cute. I think she she does something bad. <clears throat> like she ordered the kid the hit <laughs> or something. She's obviously a main character. It's like it's like a anime syndrome where it's like obviously that character's gonna show up again. She's yeah, too, she's it's too like interesting a JoJo looking. Character. Yeah, she's like, too get, interesting it's looking. Like guess the main character. Guess which person has a stand in this crowd of people. Not this not this crazy yeah. looking person. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm. You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right, you can see the report, but that's all. Autopsy report. Pretty basic shit. 9 p.m. death. I like how they have death to- Death was instantaneous. They tell you that because you, they they, you know, they know that you like this character and you don't yeah. want her to suffer. It's one of the only details you get. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Put that bitch behind bars. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. So he thinks you're a villain. Why do you say that? 
The city's put Prospector Edgeworth on the prosecution. Prospector. <laughs> Did I say Prospector? <laughs> like, yeah. oh, I'm a gold prospect. There's some gold in these here hills, says <laughs> Prospector Edgeworth. <laughs> so you, you have a different, um, a different judge? Is that what that means? Is it pro- wait, no, prosecutors? No, no, the, the prosecutors. Opposite. Yeah, sorry. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I why. think Edgeworth is the guy in the purple that's oh, in every game. Oh, Edgeworth is the guy that everyone ships you with. The city's put Prospector Edgeworth pictures. on the prosecution. Edgeworth. Oh, he's an edgy, edgy, edgy boy. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. What's the prosecutor? <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wow, what a name. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Uh, I know him. He's a feared uh, prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He'll, he doesn't feel remorse. Maybe you actually he know him. He doesn't feel pain. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, I don't talk about him that way. You make him sound barely human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. It really fucks up, it highlights how fucked up the legal system is if it just like... Wh who, which, like, they're, in the universe they're just like, yeah, whichever like, one gets the really good lawyer, that, t that team wins. I was gonna as say... As to, like, the truth. <laughs> well, yeah, nowadays it's like, if you can afford, like, a really good lawyer, you're pretty much... You're, find a you're, trick. you're set. Yeah. You're good. You're fine. So Edgeworth is in on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Even more younger -er than me. Younger. -er. Wow, 20? Jeez yeah, Louise. Yeah, that seems illegal. <laughs> Gosh, I was... Oh, man. I was thinking of myself at 20. I was not ready to be a lawyer yet. <laughs> oh, apparently he's illicit. He's a, he's a little legitimate. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Wow. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. <laughs> So he cheats to get it people well, put away, even though that means that they're probably not. He's guilty. probably he's probably just like a, a cynical person. Like yeah. He's probably just like a person who genuinely believes that the people he is fighting are bad people. He thinks he's doing the right thing. So he breaks the rules to put him in jail. Yeah. Not considering that they might be innocent. Because if he hates if he hates crime, that means that he must think that he's doing the right thing by yeah. being a persecutor. Not a big proponent of uh, guilt, uh, innocent until proven guilty. I think to, I think like having someone answer what side they'd be on if you'd rather be a, a defense lawyer or a persecutor it would kind of like reflect what kind of person you were in real life. Yeah. It also sounds like there's no right answer. <laughs> no. It's like the most stressful goddamn life ever. Because you have like a. <clears throat> It's really a toss-up as to which person is. Can I just be a YouTube lawyer like that guy? <laughs> legal, legal. Legal, legal. Yeah. Is he the one that defended H three H three? No, I don't think so. No, he's just a he's just a lawyer on YouTube. Uh, like he's a he's because like there's a bunch of randos, but then there's like they find like the most attractive lawyer and the most attractive doctor and give them channels. And they oh. always have like they they sell suits <laughs> with their sponsors and they uh, have super chiseled chins and like five o'clock shadow and all the details to just like they're to have them set for youtube I, just it's like a, I feel like a talent agency finds them somehow <laughs> there's legal legal and dr mike and they're practically the same person <laughs> you know that, that's the way to get through life just be attractive just, just everyone just try doing that and yeah. you'll be set just stop doing what you're doing now and just be attractive and everything will be okay i never Duh. imagined i'd be facing him so soon well, you never imagined that your boss would get murdered, and then you'd have to solve her murder in your second case after the first one was your own. Fr Usually, you're not tied to all of your fucking uh, uh, cases. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they won't let you do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty like, sure that is a conflict of like interest. Like first, he as defended he said. his best friend, and now he's now he's defending his uh, boss's sister uh, for his own boss's murder. <laughs> like, jeez. See, and in this situation, you actually like your boss, so you're yeah. not like ups like you're you're upset when you find her murdered, as opposed to a lot of people who would not be that upset. <laughs> they went to work and found yeah. their boss murdered. Maybe they would be the person glass that would shards? murder their boss. There was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm. Oh, that? Seems like gla a glass stand next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? 
That statue, that's the murder weapon. Huh? He thinks the clock is just a statue too. I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. Yeah. Yeah, because two people, yeah, people keep getting murdered it around It causes you. misery. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. Although she wrote it with blood as she was dying, so that's how not, do you prove- That's not what handwriting is, yeah. I mean, it is literally writing with a hand, but it's not handwriting. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think that's reflective of how you actually write normally. Yeah, everyone will do generic, like, cartoon letters, kind of. Like, the simplification of just, like, the, the archetypical letter shapes. Like, in capitals, as you just kind of, like, Awkwardly smear shit around while dying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no proof that Mia wrote it. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's helpful. Yeah. It also has autopsy report, so it's like, yeah. show me your badge. Be like, I mean, I do need the cell phone back though. Gimme. I was wondering, did you see Maya, Maya mm. Faye's cell phone? Maya Faye. Wow, that looks like a 2001 oh, that? cell phone. I have that. Hey! Yeah, that's a. It's not even a flip phone. No. This what, am I, am I, what were you doing? Like, some kind of. What kind of idiot didn't have a razor? <laughs> the only good phone. <laughs> I don't know what I had. Everyone should have had a razor. I might have had a razor. I had a razor. I had a razor scooter. <laughs> I also had a razor scooter. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Trixie Hobbitsis. Eee. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. Hey, I'm straight. I'm not so straight. <laughs> and we're... If I we tell him are... why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. A cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Impressive? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. What? Why? There weren't any suspicious calls in record there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Wow, what a bad detective he is. Yeah, so what an unimpressive detective, as it turns out. What the fuck? The spicy secret. How old is this girl <laughs> supposed to be? I'm questioning some things now. Um, yeah. Is she like 16? Like, what a creepy thing oh, to say. Oh, no. My phone holds all my spicy and secret sweet conversations. <laughs> I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I would completely forgotten about her. Dude, I wanna, I'm so competent. I want a suit like that. <laughs> Jump on Etsy. <laughs> Please buy me a suit like that. I imagine somebody has gone to conventions, cosplayed as every character in this entire franchise. I, maybe. Someone, every time. I want a suit like that. The witness? Yeah. April May! April May! Oh, I, I'm gonna love her. I can tell already. April, wait. April May. I think there's a character named April May in an absolutely remarkable thing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then? Aha! Uh -huh, you're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now! She's not to go outside a room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel, hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. <laughs> you got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. 
You fool. <laughs> so I know- You fool. I'm aware that this guy is a consistent character. So I get the impression that he's just here to be like the kind of goofy detective that accidentally leaks information to you all the time that you use later. I, mean, I think that's probably his purpose, because that's what he's doing right now. Like he's the guy we interact with every single time we like investigate a murder scene. He's a consistent character. I know that part for sure. I've seen I see memes. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't need to really really need to read this out out loud again because it's the same call we did earlier. But it's about her giving her the thinker <clears throat> and it having papers in it, I think. Yeah, but are you showing is it why is it are you just looking at it or yeah, are you showing it, it to him? No, I no, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing so I didn't do present, I pressed check. Oh, it's I see. the first time that that ever popped up, but I can check this thing. Mm. And so now, so now canonically, our character knows that stuff. So I can look through all of her sweet and spicy secrets. Spicy secrets. <laughs>